Oh, hello there. You might be wondering who I am, about my choice of clothing, and about this interesting building behind me. My name is Manjot Singh. I'm a Sikh dressed in traditional attire. And this is a Sikh temple, also known as a Gurdwara, here in Northern California. Sikhism is the fifth largest religion in the world. Today, we will take a look into this religion's cultural beliefs, values, and custom. This is a day at the Gurdwara. The day starts hours before dawn at the sacred time for meditation here in the main hall when the Guru Granth Sahib, the Guru or Prophet of the Sikhs is brought down ceremoniously and placed on their throne. Sikhism was started by the first Guru, Guru Nanak Dev Ji in 1469 who as a child said, there is only one God, He is truth and all are equal in His eyes. The Gurus fought for equality, freedom, and justice, no matter what the cost, centuries before these ideas were even conceived of by the Founding Fathers of America. This message of love and equality between all races, castes, and genders was one that was later embodied in the saint-soldier spirit finalized by the tenth and last human Guru, Guru Gobind Singh. The Guru Gobind Singh created the Khalsa, in my opinion, um, as, as, as an expression as well in form uh, and action and deed as well as, as, as in philosophy. It's a two-pronged ideal. Our turban was given to us so we can stand out in a crowd that we won't be ashamed of being a sick. And it also helps keep our hair nice and tidy and clean. It's our crown. The outer appearance that the Guru has given us is a constant reminder of A, our Guru himself, uh, what he stands for, and um, uh, and the the mission that I should live as a Sikh on a daily on a daily life. The heritage of God was basically transmitted uh, at the time of Guru Gobind Singh, transmuted into the Guru Granth Sahib. The Guru Granth Sahib is many times mistakenly referred to as the Sikh holy book, and before being given the Guruship, yes, it was a holy book. But now the Guru Granth Sahib, written by the Gurus themselves, is considered the living embodiment of the Gurus and God's divine and eternal word. It's not just text, it is body, form, incarnate. Guru Maneo, Granth Sano, E Maharayan Hukumala Adita, the Ayatom Bad, Kui Deta, Guru Neho Ega, Shabdrupi Guru, Guru Granth Sahib, and Matha Dekanai, the Jo Urto Mangoge. And as six, we. We study the Word of God and we worship the Word of God as it's written in our sacred text. After the Guru is brought down and placed on their throne, a hukamnama or divine command for the day is read. After the prakash or installation of the Guru on their throne and hukamnama, the priests begin meditation and morning prayers done by all six daily. In Sikhism, everyone is a priest. It is everyone's duty to lead the congregation and to lead prayer. It, it wouldn't be possible in a working world to expect people to basically conduct the services day in and day out. You'd have to have somebody who's dedicated to doing that. There are, however, many groups which wish to keep the tradition of congregational singing and prayer alive. Today, after morning prayers, some of this congregation arrives and sings hymns and meditation together as a group. We pray through music and, well, most of our scriptures are written in musical chords or gog, and so it's just the best way to communicate the message of love. Soon after the morning program, the regular afternoon congregation at this Gurdwara begins to arrive. When you come into the Gurdwara, you take your shoes off, and then, well, not everyone's religious, so they have to cover their heads first, and those people, they're still learning about the religion, that's why they still come there, and 
So well, once you have your shoes off and your head covered, we usually wash our hands. We um, wash our hands and our feet or face because it, for cleanliness when we go in and we cover our heads for respect. Once you're in the main hall, you go and you bow down to the guru and it's, you bow down to show respect and loyalty. So after bowing down, you can get barshad or sacred food and then you sit down and you listen to the kitin or the hymn. Today, the Sikhs are successful in all walks of life, such as the medical and technology fields. But like many other minorities, the Sikhs have been persecuted. In their home state of Punjab, India, the Sikhs have been persecuted by the Indian government. Since 1947, the Indian government has led a campaign of genocide against the Sikhs. They even went as far as to storm the Sikhs' holy shrine, the Golden Temple of Amritsar, in 1984. Even today, the Sikhs face much persecution from the Indian government, such as rapes, illegal detentions, and murders. Many Sikhs have left their homeland to seek freedom and to get away from persecution in India. With them, they have brought their Sikh faith and have held on strong to it. Many times, after the congregation has sung hymns as per tradition, Katha, or a Western-style sermon, is performed. The Katha helps to explain aspects of the religion and history as well as to inspire the congregation. Once the program is finished, an Ardhas, or congregational prayer, is performed. The Ardhas is a very important aspect of the Sikh religion in which a Sikh will express his humility, as well as ask for forgiveness from sins, protection from evil, and can also ask to fulfill worldly needs. After the Adas, a new Hukamnama, or command of the day, is read. Finally, at the end of the Sunday service, Prashad, or the Sikh Sacrament, is given out to the congregation. ਸਿੱਖ ਧਰਮ ਸਥਾਨ ਤੇ ਚਲੇ ਜਾਓ ਉੱਥੇ ਪਾਏ ਗਏ ਯਾਤਰੀ ਨੂੰ ਲੰਗਰ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਰਹਿਣ ਲਈ ਕਮਰਾ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਮੰਜਾ ਬਿਸਤਰਾ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਅਮ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੀ ਹੈਸ ਡਨ ਅ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਟੂ ਹਿਊਮੈਨਿਟੀ ਇਨ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਂਗ ਟੂ ਬੈਨਿਸ਼ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੈਜੂਡਿਸਸ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਇਨ ਆਰ ਰਿਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਟੂਵਰਡਸ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਥੀਸ ਪ੍ਰੈਜੂਡਿਸਸ ਆਰ I mean, they are self-created. They have nothing to do with the divine. All human beings have souls, and the soul comes from God. And when you see another human being, you should see the image of God within that person. The Sikh gurus instituted langar, or a free kitchen open to all, in order to not only require charity, but to force people who wouldn't even so much as look at each other to sit together as equals. All Sikh Gurdwaras have a free kitchen open to all, and many run 24 hours a day. By being able to sit together, you know, everyone is on the same playing field. Whether you're a king, whether an executive, uh, whether you're somebody poor off the street, uh, everybody's considered equal in the eyes of God. And by sitting together, um, that in maybe not having separate areas for maybe a poor person versus, versus somebody who's from a higher station in life, uh, it perhaps helps you to reflect on all this relevance, the, the relevance of all the, of, of all the, uh, the, the man-made type of perceptions we have of each other. A lot of this gets in the way of spiritual pursuit and um, it keeps you here, grounded here between each other. You know, if you can break those shackles, you, you can go beyond and, and, and start thinking about the greater, greater purposes in life. Langar is good because, you know, like all sorts of people in their, you know, from their daily lives, they sit together as a whole, as a community. Okay. We will see uh, both sexes getting involved in a Langar Seva. That's considered a very great service uh, to be able to participate in, in, in the kitchen. It is not simply a domestic duty, it is a sacred duty.
this is going on downstairs. Upstairs, Sunday school is going on, where the children learn Sikh history, language, and philosophy. As soon as the main services are over, sevadars or community volunteers quickly get to work cleaning up. In the afternoon, youths get together and practice martial arts. The six also have a martial arts so we can stand up for others, um, keep justice and can maintain our discipline. There's also a karate program for anyone who wants to attend at our Gurdwara. Youths are involved in the community a lot because we are able to do many things. We're allowed to go to the Gurdwara so we can perform prayers and do hymns. There's so many opportunities for you. As dusk nears, youth get together in the main hall to perform the daily evening prayers done by all Sikhs. What I hope for the youth is, A, that the youth will not repeat the mistakes of, of their parents, number one. B, that the, the youth will, will will seriously search within the teachings of the Guru and really, really apply in their daily lives and live the mission. By doing though, they become exemplary human beings. Uh, that is my hope. After the prayers, they begin the evening kirtan or hymn singing program. I think there's a lack of education towards the Sikhi until the new generation get educated, you know, towards Sikhi. At the end of the day, the Sukhasan is done, where the Guru is ceremoniously taken to their private room. After Sukhasan, once the Guru has retired for the day, volunteers quickly disassemble the Guru's throne, clean everything carefully, and then put it all back for the next day, just a few short hours from now. Now, the Guru's service for the day is finally over, and the volunteers joyfully raise exaltations in the name of God and Guru. I'm just hoping that people can, right now, because of the climate in the, in the world right now, um, there's a lot of fear when people see people like us, uh, obviously, because it's since the 9-11 thing. I'm hoping that people will just look beyond that and maybe try and say, well, who are these people? I've gone to many bookstores reading about Sikhism in English, and I find so much misinformation about Sikhism. Sikhism teaches us how to be good, decent human beings. The spiritual heritage and, and the, the social heritage is vast in Sikhi. We believe that we're spiritual beings having a human experience, not human beings having a spiritual experience. Sikhism is a way of life.